If you're growing in a small grow space and want a very simple way of adding carbon dioxide to your area, looking at point injection behind a fan is a great way to easily add carbon dioxide to your grow space. And here in Tobacco University, I'll describe some of the details with utilizing this method. Let's get into the video looking at point injection behind a fan for carbon dioxide delivery for cannabis production. So this point injection behind a fan, pretty simple method in the sense that it's uh, very simple to assemble and also very cost effective, mainly because most likely you have a fan in your grow area anyway. So adding the point injection behind the fan just will in help increase the efficiency of its distribution. In larger rooms, there should be multiple points of injection, but this can help ensure that there is a more even distribution with equipment that's likely already in place in your uh, facility. Now, an oscillating fan would be, of course, the best option because while any fan will help disperse carbon dioxide, using an oscillating fan will help disperse the gas evenly, even more efficiently across the grow space. Now, keep in mind, carbon dioxide will want to sink in the grow space. So if you're injecting at a higher point and mixing it around this way, as it naturally wants to fall down through the grow space, it'll actually fall through the plants and be naturally dispersed through them, allowing for a very efficient uptake. Now the direction of the fan. So fans should be uh, dispersing air across the tops of the plants. So again, that CO2 can fall through the plants because it is heavier than air. However, be mindful of the placement of the exhaust system. You wanna be uh, injecting your CO2, maybe higher up in the canopy, but you don't wanna have it right next to your exhaust system. You wanna have that a separate area so that the CO2 will naturally wanna fall down and your exhaust will pull out the hotter air and limit the amount of CO2 that's wasted by going out your exhaust system for cooling the plants. Now the placement of the sensor uh, with this system, as we can see here, another fan being utilized. And when deciding where to place the sensor, it should be about one half to two thirds of the travel distance of the air moved by the fan. This will help provide an overall carbon dioxide concentration in the grow space. You don't want it too close or too far away, kind of trying to get that average reading that the plants are experiencing so that as your controller uh, is monitoring those levels and trying to maintain certain levels, it's the average level the plants are being exposed to to help allow for a very efficient uh, growing operation with carbon dioxide enrichment, but always make sure no other factors are limiting to get the best benefit from enriching your growth space with carbon dioxide. 